Thanks, Jen. Hello, everyone. Good to see you all. Um, I'm really delighted to be doing this workshop today. Um, as Jen said, I work for hospital rooms, so some of you might recognize me from the early digital art school days, uh, or I might know some of you from uh, working with you in person. So um, hello, everyone. Um, today, I'm doing a workshop called Exploring Imagery, and we're going to be exploring imagery. <laughs> um, so um, basically, in my work, I like to think about how different people respond to images and artworks differently. Uh, and how we might respond to things similarly as well. So um, I'll just go through my materials and explain what we're going to be doing. So I've printed out a load of images, which hopefully you've got a pack of there, or if you don't, you can sort of see the ones that I've got on the screen. But it's sort of generic things that might invoke some kind of feeling in anyone. So something like pyramids might make you think about being in the desert and being hot, or it might make you think about a history lesson, Got things like big trees, um, a lava lamp is quite calming, blanket nice and warm, fruit bowl makes you feel healthy maybe, kind of calming hay bales. Um, and well, these are the things that they, they make me feel, but they might make you feel different things. And I think that's what's quite interesting. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using those images to create a new artwork made up of bits of all of them. So. Um, here's some things that I've made all, earlier, which kind of will show you the, what, what sort of thing we're going to be making. Um, so there's one and there's another. So these are made up of aspects of different bits of the images. Uh, so I'll just go through the materials uh, and, and then that will, um, then we'll get on to how we get onto making our artworks. So today, I, all I'm using is pencils and watercolor paints. And that's just because that's what I like to use for this. Um, this, normally I do drawing as kind of a process to get ideas down. So if, if you have a different way of drawing, that's totally fine. It's not, it's not about, um, it's more about the ideas than, than the way it looks. So if you have a, if you want them to look slightly different, but with the same kind of imagery, that's totally fine. Um, so to get going, I'm just going to write down a few words associated with some of the things that I was talking about here and ways you might want an image to fit, make you feel. So some words, you can, you can write down the same words as me, or you can just sort of follow mine, or if you have different ones you want to start from, that's fine too. But I'm thinking about how I would like artworks to make me maybe feel warm. Uh, I might want an artwork to make me feel relaxed. Louis, if you can just make sure to project nice and clearly, that would be fantastic. Sorry about that, Jed. Okay. <laughs> So we've got warm, relaxed, uh, maybe energized. And do let me know what words you're writing in the chat if, 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 if you'd like, or if you're just copying me, that's great too, because these I'm gonna do a bit of a range. I'm gonna write reflective. And meditative. I guess those are both a bit similar, but a bit about being kind of with with yourself and slowing down. Louis, we've had a really lovely word from Maxine who says stimulated. Stimulated, nice. I'll write that one down too as well, Maxine. Thank you. Um, I'm going to write the word nostalgic. So that might be a kind of happy memory, sort of thinking about the past and something that was uh, good in the past. So I'm just going to write that in smaller happy memory. Um, and last one we'll do for now, unless anyone's got one or two more for me, I'm going to write. You've got a few more, Louis, that have come through. Oh, no, no, Zoe no. has said uh, motivated, infused, and energized. Nice. Nice, motivated, uh, infused, I like. And I was just gonna write up here, somewhere you'd like to be.
Okay. And out of those words, I'm now going to choose just three of them. So I might choose, I'm going to go with warm, the first one. Um, maybe I'll use one of the ones that someone here said. Let's have Maxine stimulated. And I'm going to stick with where you'd like to be. So one, and then I'm going to go through the images and see if any of the images specifically speak to me about those feelings. So again, you can sort of do the same as me, or if you want to do different ones, that's fine too. Um, so what do we have? I'm thinking I like the blanket for warm. It makes you sort of feel all cozy and warm. For stimulated, I might go for bubbles, because it makes me think about kind of kids playing and sort of they're very sudden and happen quickly and floating around in the sky. So stimulated, I'll go for bubbles. And somewhere I'd like to be, I'm going to say the water park. I'd like to be on a water slide. Um, Cause it's quite, quite hot there. It'd be nice to be in some, in some water and letting go a bit. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to draw quick little drawings for each of those things. I'll try and arrange my screen so you can see the thing I'm drawing and my piece of paper. So I'm just going to move this to one side. Um, I can bring it back if anyone wants at any point, but it's going to be away for a minute. But um, yeah, is that okay, Jen, if I just move that off screen? That's fine. Hopefully everyone's got their own words kind of coming together that they can refer to. Uh, Louis, just a reminder, keep projecting your voice into the microphone. Sorry about that. <laughs> get mumbly when I'm getting drawing. Um, so what did I say? I'm working with my blanket up here for the warmth, bubbles for stimulated, and the water slides for where I'd like to be. So I'm just going to pop them around there. And I'm going to just start drawing them out with pencil. And it doesn't have to be too detailed. It's just getting the idea across. So to get that blanket in, I'm just going to do it very simply. Kind of look something like that. Um, bubbles, I guess, are just a lot of round little blobs of different sizes. Kind of overlapping is quite nice. I don't know if you can see on my screen or if in front of you, it's going to be interesting trying to get the, the colours of the bubbles in. Give myself a challenge. There's loads of different colours in a bubble. Uh, and then the last one was the water slides. So I quite like just the shape of them. So I don't need to be too true to life drawing it from the image, but just I'm going to focus on that kind of spirally shape. Um, okay, so I've just kind of got some very simple ideas. You might be drawing a bit slower and that's fine. I'm going to spend the next five minutes just coloring those in with my watercolors. Um, so if you want to kind of get your three drawings down, it might be that you've drawn straight with watercolors or if you're using something else, you might be um, approaching it in a different way. But maybe for five minutes, we'll just work on working up these images of the different objects. Louis, just another gentle reminder to keep shouting into the microphone because we've got a few people here that are struggling to hear. Okay, really sorry about that. I'll make sure I project. Again, I'm not being especially neat here. I'm just getting the idea of them down. Green, not blue. Go 
great to hear what people have chosen at home as well. Yeah, that would be fantastic. If anyone wants to let us know what they are drawing, pop that into the chat box. Louis is just doing a very basic illustration of the blanket. That's one of the images he's chosen. He's also got bubbles and a water slide. I chose water slide for somewhere I'd like to be, but it's also quite nostalgic because I haven't been on one since I was a kid. But I'd quite like to go on one soon. So for the bubbles, I'm just doing bits of blue and I'm going to put a bit of pink in as well in a minute to hopefully get the bubble effect. Hopefully everyone is getting as absorbed into the activity as we are. And just a reminder that we'd absolutely love to see your creations. And you can upload those to our website at hospital-rooms.com. Quite nice the way the blue and the pink watercolours are soaking into each other a bit. And Louis, if people don't have access to watercolours today or they're watching the recording back, do you have any other um, ideas for materials that they could use? Yeah, um, I've done this. I've done a similar workshop before and, and we did it with kind of colouring pencils or using wax crayons or pastels. I think it's important to have something with a bit of colour because I think that's important for kind of getting feeling across in this uh, this this type of workshop. But really, anything works. You could use acrylic paints as well if you wanted. But I like pencil and watercolour because it's just a quick way of getting an image down that's kind of unfussy. And I'm not too worried about making sure, sure it looks really neat at this point because this is just getting the ideas down. But I like it when it's got a bit, it kind of goes over the edges a bit. Um, but that's just me. If you'd like to be a bit neater, that's cool too. Um, so that's me with all my first drawings coloured. Um, I'm really shaking the camera there, aren't I? Um, I'm going to move on to the next uh, part, um, if everyone's sort of ready to move on, um, which is to then create our kind of new image using aspects of all of these. So I'm going to sort of think about the different colours, textures or patterns and the different shapes within the images and what I like from each one and maybe take aspects of those to make a new image. So I think um, today I really like the shape of the slide. So I'm gonna, in a minute, I'm going to use a drawing that focuses in the kind of main composition with the shape of the slide. Um, I quite like the pattern of the tartan. So maybe we go with a kind of tartany effect for the slide. And I guess the bubbles, because they're quite ethereal and kind of floating around, they can sort of be floating around to make the background of the image. So I'm going to put this to one side. So maybe we'll move our original photos out of the way and I can use um, this drawing to 
be the starting point for my kind of final artwork for this session. So for the rest of the session, we're going to be working on this next bit. So we've got about half an hour to work on this. So we're just going to work along together. Um, again, if you're doing, if you're working at a slightly slower pace, that's fine. And you want to work on these for a bit longer and then move on. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start with my slide shape. Is all the sound okay, Jen? Keep projecting, Louis, nice and clearly. I wonder if something's up with my microphone. I need to have a look. Is that better? I think much, I might stand it up, yeah. Much better, thank you. Thanks for letting us know about that, Shireen. Hopefully you can all hear nice and clearly now. Um, and I'd like to say a very first big warm hello to um, our first unit that's joining us. Hello to Manuela and everyone joining us from JBU today. So as Louis said, we've got about 30 minutes of today's session, which is plenty of time for today's activity. We're going to give you kind of lots of quiet time and space to interpret your own artworks and images. And I did these ones a bit quicker, but this one I'm going to sort of take a bit more care over. If you're someone who works quicker, you could always use more of the words we started with before and bring more things in or make a few different ones. So I'm sticking with the yellow colour for my slide and then I'm going to paint the tartan on top in a minute. So I'll have to wait for the yellow to dry a bit before I go in with the, the colour there. I'd love to say a big hello to everyone joining us from the HOPE unit. Um, another hello to Julia Roman and everyone joining us. And a huge hello to your Wheatfield unit who I can see have joined us today. Um, I know that some units and services will be watching this back on demand. So I'd like to say a big warm hello to Snowsfield's adolescent unit and Fir Park School as well. Great to have you all here, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you produce as well, as Jen said, if, if we can see them uploaded later, that'd be great. So I've got that shape. I'm going to, as I said, go with the bubbles for the background. So I'm going to just sort of loosely do a few bubbles dotted around. And then I'll come back to the tartan slide when the yellow's dried a bit.
Louis, I'm so thrilled to let you know that we've got such a vast um, audience ranging from lots of places all over the country today. Big hello to everyone joining us from Springfield, Springview, sorry, Catterbridge Hospital in Wirral. Lovely to have you with us. Hi to Marie and everyone in Hartford House. Another big hello to Olivia from Rookie Wee Gardens in Birmingham. Another huge hello as well to Zoe, who is joining us from Newcastle today. If you all didn't know, the Digital Arts School is actually a global programme now. We've reached all continents across the world except for Antarctica. So that's what we're aiming for next. Thank you so much for joining us live today. We love having you all with us. Really good to have you all, everyone. Shame we've got no penguins with us. I hadn't really considered this, but it's quite nice that the obviously bubbles and the slide kind of go quite well together. They're both watery. So Louis, what's really lovely about the work that you're working on at the moment, the piece, um, size and scale, how are you deciding that? Because obviously it's not, it's not necessarily to scale. And does that make a difference of the size and the shape? Yeah, definitely. I just working at kind of A3 size because it's a nice big size. I like to draw relatively big and uh, so you can be quite expressive. Um, yeah, I guess this this new image is, is kind of an artwork that you're creating not to be realistic. And it's about how you think kind of the shapes fit together the best. So these bubbles are obviously yeah, compared to how if this was a real water slide, there'd be massive bubbles. But um I think yeah it's mostly just about what feels right when you're draw when you're drawing or painting it Louis we've had a wonderful comment come through from Thomas Dunstan uh, Louis sa um, it says that Louis is very good at art and that's from a comment from a young person at Hope so thank you for joining us I'm sure Louis appreciates that compliment as well Thanks very much. I'm sure you're all very good at art as well. <laughs> I think so much of it is about having a kind of bit of confidence and just sort of having a go. That's all I ever do, really. Sometimes I don't feel very confident with it, but I keep doing it. Tapping in again to our lovely global audience. A big hello to Sarah, who's joining us from Bahrain. It's wonderful to have you back for another session with us. So just as a time check for everyone, we've got about 20 minutes left of today's workshop, which would be plenty of time to create your images. We're taking it nice, slow, relaxing pace today. There's no rush. Um, and we hope you're all creating some amazing artworks and enjoying the workshop. And normally I use my colours quite... Um blocky but obviously the bubbles do have a lot of sort of texture to them and the watercolours has been really helpful for that the way it's dripping into each other.
if you've enjoyed doing this, you can always start the same process with your own images or even just things from your head if you think about something that makes me feel nostalgic or something that makes me feel reflective and draw in that kind of way. I think it's usually good to have images to work from to kind of jog your memory, but sometimes if also working from memory can be interesting in itself. So I think I've got the bubbles about how I want to look for now. Um, I might add a bit of blue colour around the background as well to kind of get that sky or watery effect. But I'm going to move on to working on this tartan onto the slide. So I'm just going to get a bit of red like I did with the, with the blanket. I just want to start drawing lines along there. So what Louis is doing now is taking the stripes from the tartan and putting them on the slide. That's his interpretation of how he's building his image today. You might have um, pyramids that have got the texture of hay. You could have a slide that has got is covered in bubbles, as Louis is today. Um, what other what other textures and images have we got today, Louis, that people could be using? So we've got. Things like the uh, basketball, Stonehenge. I did this with a group before and someone made an amazing Stonehenge with kind of basketball pattern on it. That looked really good. Um, I think that's a pretty cool crossover. We've got yeah, hay bales, like you said, Jen. Cactuses, so something quite spiky. So whether you can make something nice and friendly like a waving cat with a cactus spikiness, I don't know what that would do. It might look a bit scary, to be honest, but... Or the lava lamp actually kind of is, is a bit similar to the bubbles. So there's lots of different, um, yeah, things you could start with. And there's also this page. So we've got kind of coral reef, lots of colors there. The pyramids, as you said. Space is one I've made before with the kind of spacey stars as well. Or the slides that I'm working from. Beth is letting us know that she's doing Stonehenge with bubbles. We can't wait to see that, Beth. Hope that you can upload that to our online gallery. Yeah, that sounds amazing, Beth. I want to see a bubbly Stonehenge. And just a gentle time check for Louis and everyone. We've got about 15 minutes left. This is super, super relaxing. I hope everyone's enjoying it as much as we are. Thanks, Jen. I'm just hoping there's someone who designs water parks here and they're going to take my idea for making a tartan water slide. Maybe one in Scotland. We've got some amazing ideas and submissions coming through, Louis. Wheatfield Unit have got people doing a lava lamp with bubbles, pyramids with hay bales and stars. We would love to see those. That sounds great. Okay, um, so I've sort of started the check. I haven't added the green yet. I think it's a bit thin, so I'm just sort of considering whether there's actually going to be space. 
But I think I'm going to give it a go. If it doesn't look amazing, I can always try again later, but hopefully I'll make it work. It's a little bit thin to add in extra lines, I think. And another thing you can do is always test on your original drawing, because that was just sort of to get an idea. So I could go back and sort of test on this other page before going onto the main page, if you feel like you want to try something before you put it on the, the kind of more finished piece. I think it's a good idea to go for the green lines, actually. I'm glad I took the risk. What do you say we had, Jenna? A, a, a hay bale pyramid? Yes, we've got pyramids with hay bales and stars. That's great. It's interesting. I think I've used quite different uh, textures and um, colours, but the kind of idea of using the hay and the pyramids I think is quite nice because maybe at a glance it would still look like a pyramid and then you look closer and it's all made of hay. Now, I'm going to try line this here as well. Wow, Lou, we've got another incredible submission come through. Um, Thomas says that they've tried to incorporate sunflowers into the Sydney Opera House and use bubbles for the water below it. These sound absolutely incredible. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Sort of frothy, bubbly bubble bath under Sydney Opera House. <laughs> I've just had a thought. I had thought I'd kind of finish using the pencil, but I've decided I want to... Uh, use the frills from the um, blanket as well to get a bit more of the blanketiness. So I'm going to put the frills on the end of the slide. And that's amazing, Louis, because you've kind of transformed it into something that looks like a scarf. Yeah, maybe I'll just design a scarf. <laughs> Lost it slightly less, maybe. But that's okay too. Okay, I'm sort of getting there, I think, but I think, like I said, I might just go for a kind of bit of a blue wash all over the background just to kind of bring it all together a little bit, but I'll just do it very watered down so it doesn't um, interrupt the, the bubbles too much. I'm just getting a lot of water on the brush. Oh, it's gonna start seeping there, so I need to be careful. And Louis, we've got 10 minutes left of today's workshop. Okay.
I have to be careful that the colour sort of seeping out. I don't mind too much though, it makes it a bit more atmospheric as well. I was using my old first drawing just to kind of get the colours right and before I put the watercolour onto the main piece of paper. And for everyone that is joining us for the first ever time today and is new to the Digital Arts School, a very warm welcome again. It's been wonderful to have you all. Um, a reminder that you can check out our YouTube channel by typing in hospital rooms into the search bar. And that will bring up all of the Digital Arts School workshops that we've ever done before. So if you have got watercolour paints in front of you and you're keen to try out more and see what other ideas we've got, you can find those all on our YouTube channel. I'm actually quite liking how the colour started to seep out a bit and don't mind it. Makes it a bit more atmospheric. I like to draw sort of draw and paint relatively quickly because I'm a bit impatient but if you are more kind of careful you might spend a long long time on this or kind of work it up and do a longer version um, but that's totally up to you if you want to spend more time on it oh lost my camera oh, geez. just bear with us everyone we've just lost the camera for a moment and we're back We've got five more minutes left of the workshop, Louis, so this is perfect timing. Is that all okay? Is it still clear? Yep, that's totally fine. Thanks, Louis. I wasn't going to colour the middle of the bubbles in, but I decided to a little bit of a very light amount.
Thomas is letting us know in the comments that they've also done a midnight sky lava lamp. That sounds absolutely gorgeous. I would love to be able to buy one of those. <laughs> So I think I'm coming about to an end of mine. Um, I could keep working into it, but I don't think it, it needs much more. Um, I don't know how that is for time, Jen. Um, but I think I'm pretty pleased with what I've achieved. I mean, everyone who's joined us, you can keep on going, as, as I said. I'll show you a few of the ones I made before. So this is one I, I showed you briefly at the start, and this was uh, the same water slide tartan bit messier this one and, and I only did red on this one and I was using the night sky as a starting point so I've got some of the kind of nebula and, and stars and and again it doesn't have to be too realistic I kind of felt like the stars would be more exciting with lots of colors and that's how they were coming up in this photo as well there are sort of a few different colors another one I did earlier which I think it sounds a bit someone said they did Bubbles Stonehenge, didn't they? But I went for Sunflower Stonehenge with some of the coral reef around the edge, so kind of floating Stonehenge in the sea. Um, yeah, and that one's a bit even quicker and rougher, but um, maybe I, I could need to know. But I quite, I quite like them, them being quite rough and ready and just getting that idea across quickly. Um, but this is, yeah, the finished one that I've been working on today. Um, it'd be great to hear any last pieces you've been making and great to see them later but um that's that's sort of it for today Jane. fantastic thank you so much louis that has been such a wonderful and relaxing session um i've put the link into the chat box for anyone that would like to share their artworks with us you can submit those to our online gallery of course we'll share them with louis as well we'd absolutely love to see all the different combinations of things that you've created today and we hope you've enjoyed the session as much as we have as well so it's time now to launch our end of workshop poll so that will be popping onto the screen now. If you can give us an indication of how you found the workshop today, this will really help us to grow and improve the programme as we develop the Digital Art School. A huge thank you once again to Louis on behalf of such a lovely workshop today. And for those of you that are still here with us, I'd like to share with you the story of Hospital Rooms and how the workshop today has come about. So Hospital Rooms is a London-based arts and mental health charity, and we transform inpatient NHS mental health units with contemporary art. The Digital Art School is hugely important as it allows us to build a community where we can join together globally and feel part of something really special. You can find the library of our past projects and all of the previous digital art school workshops on our YouTube channel and you'll find a variety of original sessions with leading artists. We've also got a digital art school newsletter which may have been the way that some of you found out about this workshop today and that will also keep you informed of the upcoming workshops we've got, the materials you'll need for them along with any PDF downloads you'll need for the sessions. You can sign up for that at hospital-rooms.com. As I've said and shared the link with you all, we love when you share your artworks with us by uploading to our online gallery. You can submit those using your name or you can stay anonymous. If you've created a past uh, artwork today, either joining us live or watching this back on demand, we'd really love to see them. We will be back next week for a paper weaving workshop with fashion designer Sadie Williams. Sadie's previously shown at London Fashion Week and collaborated with lots of exciting brands, so we're absolutely thrilled to have her with us. Don't forget to register for that on our website. Just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's popping in a little comment box as well. Thank you, Louis, Melissa, Wheatfield Unit, um, Olivia, Henrietta, Maxine, everyone, everyone in all your units and wards and services, wherever you are, thank you so much for joining us today. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the sunshine this week and we'll see you all again next week on Thursday. <laughs>